Yesterday was the final crack in the vase that is Amanda. I wanted to end my life. The suffering has gotten too much for me to bear. Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. Larry here. Hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. It's a beautiful day here in South Carolina. Hope wherever you are, <laughs> it's just as nice. Today started out a wonderful day. I'm um, getting some stuff done around the house. And on Sundays, my typical uh, routine is to listen to a live stream while I'm doing chores, whether it's, you know, the dishes or food prepping or and the, the live stream I usually listen to on Sundays is Carnivorous Me, Amanda and her husband, Scott. Yeah, I don't catch every one of them, but usually I do. And I don't watch them come out. I usually just listen. For those of you who don't know who Amanda is, she started documenting her journey like a year and a half, two years ago on the carnivore diet. And like Cassie and I, she started out very obese and very unhealthy. And she just completely changed her life eating only meat. And she's a real inspiration. Um, we share a lot of the same viewers. Uh, we've never collabed with Amanda. You guys know we don't collab with a whole lot of people. Um, but mutual friends have collabed with her on Carnivore Kip, uh, Intentional Carnivore, Sean White. And, you know, they've talked to her behind the scenes, so how wonderful she is. And of course, just by watching her on YouTube and her document her journey, you can tell what kind of person she is. And Amanda's probably the only other content creator who started her channel while she was extremely obese. Um, until she did, Cassie and I were the only ones who had done that. Um, you know, you got Laura and Chris Spath, um, Steak and Butter Gal, Lily Kane, all the big channels, you know, they, they didn't start out their channel while, while they were still fat. I don't even think Bella and Lily lost a ton of weight, but you know, like Laura and Chris Spath, they lost all their weight and then started their channel. Even Frigno Freedom, I think Dante, his very first video was like 100, in 25 days, you know, on the lion diet. So he had already made a huge transformation just in his first video. You know, he wasn't putting out videos during that transformation. And when you do do that, um, you do get a lot of hate. Cassie and I have experienced this <laughs> a lot through our journey. Um, you guys know I have done multiple videos addressing people like that. Um, you know, there was Joey Schwartz we dealt with and you know there's just some other people along the way who basically troll you and they make you feel like garbage today i was going to get our sink full of dishes done so i queued up amanda's channel and i was going to listen to her and scott you know while i did them and she didn't have a live stream today and usually when she doesn't put out something she'll do a community post well she put out a community post today and it just it really angered me i write this with a heavy heart I have been silently breaking inside for a while. Yesterday was the final crack in the vase that is Amanda. I wanted to end my life. The suffering has gotten too much for me to bear. I want to thank those of you who have had such kind words and have found value in my sharing. I hope you can forgive me as I'm not as strong as you had hoped. I can no longer tolerate the death by a thousand paper cuts. Something as innocuous as no video of the week gets turned into you aren't carnivore, you ain't doing things right your channel has run its course. Some of you might even be disappointed that I can't just ignore the negativity. On its face, a single comment has no impact. Yet the summation of them all has crushed my spirit. Being constantly accused of not doing things correctly, lying or unmet expectations. I have never pretended to be unflawed or perfect on my journey. People seeing someone struggling and instead of offering a helping hand or kind word, they chose to kick them to revel in the added suffering and malice that exists. I admit I still harbor a negativity inside myself that deep down people do not want to hurt others. Yet on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm proven wrong. I've yet to rectify that part of myself to the reality that this world, I know evil exists. And uh, she goes on to talk about the evil in the world. And then she says, so I'm stepping away for a while. I do not know for how long. I just know I cannot be guilted or shamed by one more person assuming something about me or what is left will be so far broken there is nothing to be pieced back together. And I really got upset um, when I read this community post. Um, not at Amanda, of course. Amanda, if you see this video, Cassie and I have been rooting for you since you had about three or 4,000 subscribers. Um, you know how it is as a content creator. You can't catch everybody's stuff. But 
you know, as I said earlier, we share a lot of the same audience. And, you know, your name is always brought up in our Facebook group or in the comments of our videos. Your audience loves you, you know, and, and you have inspired me at different times. And I know exactly what you're talking about. You just don't know if you can take it anymore. Uh, there, there's been a few times where we've had a barrage of negative comments come in and, you know, they really hit Cassie hard. And it makes you question, you know, I mean, is this all worth it? It's not easy, um, especially when you put yourself out there uh, when you're really obese. There's not a lot of people that have done it. As far as YouTube channels who have more than 5,000 subscribers, I think Carnivore Quest, Amanda Me, and Carnivore Kip are the really only ones I can think of on the, off the top of my head who started out extremely obese. You know, and so even the big dogs can't relate with you, Amanda, as far as, you know... <laughs> the pushback and the hate you're going to get. And I just want to say, when I first read your post, I was like, Amanda, you're the light of the world. You know, these people just want to extinguish you, whether it's jealousy for the success of your channel, um, or they're just miserable in their own life. Uh, you know, I, I just want you to know you have so many people in this community, 99% that love you. And I want to encourage you, don't give up forever. You know, I know you're going to take a break um, to the audience. I've never spoken with Amanda, um, but I'm really hoping she's not gone for good. I don't think she will be. Yeah, yeah. her husband, Scott, you can tell, um, you know, they love each other to death. And uh, you just, you guys are too special to disappear. Um, you go back and you look through the comments of your videos, Amanda, and draw strength from the people you've helped. But it's not always easy, I know that. There's been a couple times Cassie, um, you know, was feeling the same way. That death by a thousand cuts, that really rang true. Because it's not one comment, it's, a, it's an accumulation. You know, when I was going through that year-long stall, people called me a liar, you're not doing carnivore right. They actually said I was lying. And, you know, eating the standard American diet, um, even though on our channel... Cassie and I documented when we fell and I gained 80 pounds on YouTube. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. So when I was in that year long stall, people say, oh, you're lying. You know, you're, you're eating other, other stuff. I'd be documenting it if I was, I did it before, you know, um, people just want to hate to hate, uh, Amanda, you completely transformed the way you look in such a you know, short amount of time. Yeah, you still got a little ways to go, but I got to tell you, Amanda had a short. Um, it's the best carnivore diet short on YouTube I've ever seen. And it's where she transforms, you know, from day one and she like morphs through all her changes. And uh, it's got that song, I'm unstoppable. I can't play it for you guys because it'd get copyrighted. But Amanda, it's the most inspiring carnivore diet short I've ever seen. I get chills whenever I see it. I think it's got like, last time I saw it, it had like 2 million views. It's powerful. I just, this really upset me. And I, I saw it and I, I saw some people in our Facebook group, you know, bring it up. And I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to sit down and, and send out a message to you, Amanda. You're loved in this community. Uh, and, and I know it's hard to lose sight of that when you're feeling that pain of people attacking you. I'm sure someday in the future we'll collaborate in some way uh, because I think we're cut from the same cloth. Just want to help folks. Cassie and I have so much respect for you and Scott, Amanda, and uh, I hope you're not gone too long. Looking forward to those Sunday lives again. <laughs> Actually, she's still got one scheduled for the 21st of April, so... Uh, maybe we'll uh, we'll see you there, Amanda, live. <laughs> but no matter how long you take off, um, carnivore diet community will be waiting for you. It's not easy starting a health journey and sharing with people when you are extremely obese. You're already emotionally vulnerable um, when you're that heavy, and it takes a lot of courage to get in front of the camera um, and share with people. You know, I've always been a little bit of a ham, but you know, in the beginning, it wasn't like super easy for me and for Cassie. I know it was definitely hard. You know, once we realized we were actually 
making a difference in a few people's lives. Um, you know, we, we focused on that, but there have definitely been times in our journey where the haters get to you. You guys do me a favor and head over to Amanda's channel and leave a comment on that community post and show her some love. Um, I know she's going to get a ton of it anyway, but and I'm going to tag Amanda in the title of this video, hoping she'll see it. But you guys let her know in the comments that community post that uh, Carnivore Quest did a little video for her. So if she doesn't see the tag, maybe she'll see that. Because Amanda, what you said here, you know, I wanted to end my life. The suffering has gotten too much for me to bear. You know, that, that, that really hit me because I have been suicidal in my life before. I've talked about that here on the channel, um, you know, when my mom and sister were murdered and, you know, my alcoholism, I was in a dark place 10, 12 years ago. You bring so many people in our community, true joy and inspiration. I hate to hear you talk like that, but don't be ashamed of it. I'm glad you put this out there. It just, it just amazes me how callous and brutal people can be. So yeah, you are the light of the world. And I really hope to see you back on YouTube soon, Amanda. Um, but you got to take care of you. You know, I mean, if you quit forever and you were better off for it, then that'd be the right decision, right? But I have a feeling, uh, you know, you just take a break and you'll be back to helping people. Anyway, guys, I had to get this off my chest. I had to reach out to Amanda and just give her some encouragement. Um, we're kind of like kindred spirits, I think, because we started in the same place. You know, we, <laughs> it's much easier, I think, to have already lost all your weight and then start a YouTube channel. It takes a lot of courage, and don't forget that, Amanda. All right, guys. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Remember, no sugar, no carbs, no cheating. Later.